Mark your New Year's 2022 calendar for January 2nd, 2022. Vicky Dillard, the goddess guru, is taking you deeper into your cosmic DNA powers that NASA and the U.S. government knows all about. Go now. Register your Royal Bloodline Vault Pass Codes webinar activation at On Purpose with Vicky.com. Honor your ancestors at the start of your year and they will grant you divine advantages all year long. Your ancestors left you an inside vault that you need the pass codes to. Don't you dare miss this shift. That will bless your life for years to come. Register now at www.onpurposewithvicky.com. The perfect cleanse and reboot for a healthy immune system. Good now. Dope. Now, um, talk about talk about Fetty Wap. Let's lead into that because obviously that brother's been going through a roller coaster ride himself the last couple of months. And um yeah. we had Nick the Grit on a couple, I'd say about a month or so ago, and he expressed how he felt about the whole situation. And now we see them two going back and forth. But talk about where your relationship with Fetty Wap, how you two got into the game or how you introduced him to the game or whatever the case may have been, and where he's at right now. <laughs> So um, it was interesting. My son actually found him and was like, listen, I found this artist and we are going to manage him. Oh, wow. Like, okay, who is this guy? He was like, his name is Fetty Wap. I'm like, Fetty Wap? <laughs> Let's be honest. That name sounds, I mean, it's like, it just, I didn't know what to expect. Fetty Wap. It was, it didn't sound New York. That's for damn sure. It was, it was like a another whole thing i'm like okay he was like and he has one eye i was like oh my god he was like but i i think that's the thing mom i really do i was like all right cool he was like they're gonna come over tonight i was like all right cool so they came to the house we talked and i was very aggressive you know and and i don't call it aggressive but some of these guys they don't get it women we have to state our claims. We have to, from the door, let people know what it is because they will take advantage of us. Mm -hmm. They will. Yeah. And guess what? We still got taken advantage of. So it, in terms of, you know, look, you know, we started working with them. I was like, okay, we'll do management. Me and D'Anthony will be 50-50. You know what I'm saying? And are you the, I said to Nick, you're the production company? He said, okay. I was like, okay, cool. So you, I knew he couldn't do both. That was like a conflict of interest. So I was like, so we'll come in as management. So Fetty, I said, are we all like cool on that? Because they were asking for my help. And if I was going to really, you know, stamp it, I wanted to get some sort of commitment from them. And they, and they took it some type of way a little bit, I think, you know, but, um, you know, so I started to kind of back off and they were like, D'Anthony, why isn't your mom helping us? This, that, and the third. I'm like, look, I listened to the record because at the time the song said Trap Queen Raw. I said, it sounds very raw. It sounds very loopy. You know, it's, it just, it, it just, you know, they're like, well, Mr. C has played it on his, you know, um, on his, um, on his show. I'm like, yeah, but he only plays a little snippet. Mm. Do you want this song to be played beginning? I'm sorry. Are you guys there? Yes. Can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear, can you hear us? Drop out and come back in, possibly. Hello? Got to drop out and come back in. Can't hear us. It's probably not watching the chat either. Probably listening, hopefully. Yeah, hey, Dion, there she go. Cool. In the building right now with Cherry Martinez on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're listening to right now. She's giving a history lesson to all this. It's pretty dope, man. Yeah, without a doubt, man. Definitely appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys give us the five star rating Hell yeah. if you're listening to this. It's been a minute, but make sure you guys, you know, do that and also share this video and tell us about the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Let's bring her back in. Can you hear us now? We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? 
Yeah, yeah there you okay. go. Sorry about that. No um, worries. So anyways, you know, um, I said, you know, we need to fix the record. We don't need to fix the record, blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, cool. Again, why isn't your mom helping us? This, that, and the third. I said, listen, I, D'Anthony, I said, you remember we went out? You met this guy? He works for RCA. Send him the record and tell me what he says. He sent the guy the record. The email said, sounds cool, but it doesn't sound finished. Mm. All right, all right, we'll listen to you. I said, we're going to go to my boy K-Mac studio and we're going to finish the record, okay? So I'm like, this is crazy. Y'all don't believe me, who's on radio, who's been on radio for years, but okay, so now, you know, but whatever, okay. So we go to the studio, K-Mac's like, she's right. This isn't finished. Uh, we need to put some sort of rap, something, you know what I mean? Unless, you know, just we brought up the chorus, you know, because it had a big intro. So we sped that up. We brought that, put, we added elements to kind of, I mean, you know, you know, we, mm -hmm. we worked the magic. We right. did what we needed to do. And that was the record that got them the deal. Oh. And we didn't end up managing them. Um, and he, you know, I have tapes. I, I even have little, you know, uh, I have footage on my page where it says that he, he acknowledges that I'm the one. Mm. Not only was it that I played the record, but I fixed the record. I reproduced the record with, with, with K-Mac. And um, I wanted my credit and, you know, I still ha haven't gotten my credit, but people know. And that's pretty much it, you know, so... You know, I think that it was an unfortunate situation based on looking, you know, outside looking in. It looked like he was influenced by Knit the Grit. I feel like Knit was, you know, the one that was leading that ship. Um, I tried every avenue to try to, you know, get paid, you know, broker a deal. He didn't want, he was like, he didn't want nobody eating but him. Okay. And, um, and, and so we left it alone. We went and we found another artist. We won a couple of Grammys. And then, you know, you got Coyla Ray, my son's managing her. Me and her mom are like best friends since we was 15 years old. Our kids grew up together. Playpen status. Mm. That's why my son manages her. You know, it's helped, crazy. You know, curate a, 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 helped to curate a meeting at Republic Records. She got signed to Republic Records. So. I was gonna ask you if you knew Benzino too. Being I from do know Benzino. In his group and all that's crazy. That's mm -hmm. cool. So back to the Fetty Wap thing. Um, so you, you make the music, you get the song ready. So he just ups and just leaves. He didn't up and leave. They just cut us out. They stopped calling. They stopped mm. answering phones. They just, you know, you could tell what it was. The good thing was that they did. You know, Fetty called D'Anthony when he got signed to Three Hundred and brought D'Anthony up there so that D'Anthony could be there for that signing. You know, and that was a good thing. And they wanted to keep D'Anthony on, but they wanted to keep D'Anthony on in a cap capacity that D'Anthony knew that not nah, like all that leg work I did. We, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Why didn't you take him to court? Because there was there's there was no proof really. You know what I mean? There was a couple of emails back and forth, but it was gotcha. it, it it didn't. You know, I tried to take them to court. You know, I, I, I did have a lawyer reach out to him. Okay. It just, it just, it was going to, it was just too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I am entitled to some royalties. I am. Me and right. my son, we absolutely are. Um, but, you know, one thing that they were smart, they never sold the version of, of ours with the, with the rap in the middle. If you ever go to the album, the rap's not there. Hmm. That version is not there. Um, mm -hmm. It's just the plain version, but the video has the rap. Yeah. And so there's some royalties there and the radio playing the rap version yeah. with all that talk at the end with Knit the Grit going nuts. You know, yeah. that's all, that's our version. Damn. How, how do you feel about Fetty Wap now being uh, tied up? Um, he got arrested about a month ago for, um, you know, pretty much a kingpin charge, a Rico charge. Yeah. I mean, that's messed up. I, I I don't wish jail on anyone. I, my my husband just did fourteen years, you know. And Fetty Wap, like he's a good kid, 
you know, he's a good guy. He's he's nice. He really doesn't mean well. He came into this industry. He doesn't really know all of the ins and outs. Like I said, I, I kind of feel like he was influenced by Knit. Knit was the, you know, the 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 man that kind of pushed everything in the in that certain you know in those directions. Knit did a lot too for for Fetty, but he should have broke bread with us. You know what I'm saying? But does it, does it surprise you that? Um, from a p- professional level, Fetty Wap's going through the struggles he is with creating new music. It doesn't. It doesn't surprise me, hmm. because you know what? That's how the that's that's life right there. Yeah, that's life. Oh, yeah. That's life. That's how it goes. Yeah. Now you don't me- just. You don't just. You don't just. <laughs> sorry. Some point, you know, things start. You know evening out even things start coming back you gotta you you know you gotta face things you know yeah so like i said i don't wish anything bad on him i don't i i hope you know that he's able to you know square square this button this this situation up i really do i don't know the details so i don't know if it's true or not right but i don't wish him to be in jail that long that's that's crazy Said, oh God, you the man, Cass I spit white like a clan mask And I'm a hustler I could stand out on the beach and sell sandbags Some things can't last But this ain't just a podcast This is Sam Ant and Oh God, Cass Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang.